Hi there, my name is Nigel Halstead and I'm a project leader for MakePlus. I'm here to talk to you about the 3D printer technology that we use here at the Carry Lab. We have two machines. Uh, they're Fortis 400MC fuse deposition modeling machines. Uh, they essentially use hot heated polymer uh, for their printing techniques. We're able to use ABS plastic, polycarbonate, and a high strength, high heat material called Altem for printing. What that allows us to do is to pr print a variety of different types of material for different applications. We use the machines mostly in concept development for our projects. So after we get a set of requirements together, we kind of start experimenting with potential ideas for what the device might look like. And 3D printing is a really good way for us to actually um, visualize and, and actually hold in reality the thing that we're designing. So with very little investment, we can do a SolidWorks model, download the file to the machine, and the machine actually prints out a physical representation of the thing that we're designing. I have just a simple example of a medical device, which we, uh, or medical device concept, which we were working on. And this device was printed in one of these machines. Um, and it's, you know, able, it enables us to look and, and understand and feel how this device might work in, the, in this example, the surgical environment. The machines themselves are industrial quality. Um, they have quite a large building envelope. I think it's around 18 by 18 by 18 inches. So that gives us a lot of flexibility in terms of um, being able to build small parts and or large parts. And they're very simple to operate. Uh, essentially what you do, like I was saying earlier, is you have a CAD file, you download it to the machine, and with a little bit of setup, um, you can pretty much set it and forget it and the machine will build you the part that you need. Um, it is advisable, however, obviously, that you have some experience with AutoCAD or some type of computer-aided design program as you're doing your design because the file that's required is um, a CAD file. Um, also, it's good to have a little bit of an understanding on how products are designed so that you don't end up designing something which is perhaps too complicated or too large for the build, um, or, or basically the design of the device can influence the time it takes to build the device and the amount of material used. So it would be a good idea, I think, to consult with some of the experts here at Make Plus before you actually bring your file in, just to ensure that the file is optimized for 3D printing. I guess in closing, these machines are indispensable for us because we can get a real sense of how the device is going to work that we've designed without investing a whole bunch of time and effort and money in committing the resources that are required to actually produce the device, the actual device itself. Thanks very much.